Hey guys, we're here in Pittsburgh right now. We're here for the ANA show. We're super excited to come see you guys. Come down to Pittsburgh. We'll be there. We're happy to meet all of you. Give some handshakes, give some hugs, at talk about it. Booth. At the Whatnot booth. Yeah, we'll be on the Whatnot booth at the 10th. And maybe on the 11th, that's gonna, we're going to raise some money for charity. Yes. We have special team Bargain Hunters coins that will be sold on Whatnot for charity. Super limited. They're going to look cool. They're going to be NGC holders. Then we're going to do a competition, a grade off, where if you guys participate, you can win money. And then, so we're going to make this little video. What are we doing today, guys? So right now we're in Pittsburgh and we're just discovering places. We're, we're not in Pittsburgh anymore. Trip. We're heading yeah. to Gettysburg oh, and we right. found this beautiful bridge with this lake or a river. Got it. Yeah, right. we're about an hour outside of Pittsburgh, so we are just uh, road tripping it. And Look we just... at how beautiful green it is with all these trees. The whole roadside is beautiful. See the trees on the other side? The whole When you're driving on the freeway, that's all you see is just trees on either side of the road. It's gorgeous. There's so much greenery that we're just not used to, huh? Yeah. But like, I love these steel bridges. I, mean, I love the industrial one. Uh, it's super awesome. Anyway, that's it. The road that's going Gettysburg. We'll get some footage. We don't know. This might be a five minute video or 10 minute video, but we'll just take little clips of different sites. Tatiana, lead us up the way. Okay. So now here's the question. Will daddy make it up this hill? You want to race? No, I don't want to race. <laughs> <laughs> but absolutely beautiful, guys. It's so green. But seriously, find us on Whatnot, guys. Bargain Hunter, Thrift. Um, we're going to do some really cool stuff for charity. We're going to have a competition. You'll be able to win prizes. Casey, you going to give away some stuff? Yes, sir. And then we have a competition. If we win, you win even more prizes, I believe. But it's going to be fun. But the bigger thing, and I don't know the charity, I forgot, but we are doing stuff for charity. So stay tuned. We have updates coming every day. It'll be a lot of fun. What's up, guys? This hey, is how guys. crazy our adventures are. We were just road tripping. We had no plan. We were heading direction Gettysburg, right? We were headed to Gettysburg, and then Renee saw a little creek named... Antietam Creek. And he's like, that's a famous battlefield. I'm like, what are you talking about? First invasion of the south by the north, Antietam, a year before Gettysburg. And I was like, the Antietam Creek, I wonder if we close. And then we saw we were only 16 miles away from the Antietam battlefield the and the train, train station. So we decided to go uh, over here real quick, check it out before Gettysburg. We'll probably get at Gettysburg at nighttime, get some dinner and we'll show you some footage. But let's look around the battlefield. You want to show some of these cannons, Tatiana? Sure. And then actually show them that, that house right there. See if you can get the picture of the house. But show them some of these cannons. That's crazy, huh? Can you believe like... So this one's the oldest. This is 1841, or model 1841. That Does that not mean the year? That 1857. Three inch. Imagine if you paddle, it just breaks apart and then shatters in your line. Hey, check this out. I always wanted to collect like old military drums like that. Regimental drums. That's so cool. Yeah. Drummer boys were like little boys. Mm -hmm. Check out the uniform. Oh, no, it's a wood post. You thought it was a uniform? Oh, I just saw it from the distance. I saw the grape. I looked at the bull is just stuck. Crazy. It's part of a fence rail. It says. Hey, honey, come look at this. Surgery tool. And they have more over there too. 
no antiseptics. A lot of people died from like uh, infections and stuff. Is that a clock? It's got numbers. In. No, I think it's, it's all like, surgery stuff. It's, it's a clock though. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I didn't read it. Irish breed. Look at Tower Antietam. Hope they got an elevator. No elevator. No elevator? No. Is that a pole to go all the way down? No. no. What is that? It's to like hold the stairs. Oh, I was like, do you get to slide all the way down like a fireman pole? <laughs> Alright. There we go, top of the tower. And teed him. Casey. 23,000 Americans died here in one day. It was the bloodiest um, battle day in American history. Cannons. I think these are the cornfields that were coming through. They're just not grown right now. You can drive around. We bought the year pass for the national park. We always do just to support them. Even though we only go probably once a year. Well, once every two or three years. But well, that's okay. So you so. can drive all this path, guys. And then you see, um, it, it shows you the different battle points. Yeah, and it shows you where divisions were placed and stuff like this. Just crazy. What do you think, Tatiana? Huh? It's crazy. Alright. It's very peaceful up here. Once we were done huffing and puffing from climbing all of those stairs. No, it was easy. <laughs> it was for me. <laughs> Kinda. Alright, let's go down. Say bye, Nana. Bye. Hey, you gonna start breaking soon? Yeah. Where should they come find you? A deep break. Huh? A deep break. So where can they find you? T Bargain Hunters, but I'm on Whatnot for Bargain Hunter Swift. So we're going to change to Bargain Hunters on Whatnot, plus mm -hmm. we're in Fanatics for Bargain Hunters. Yes. We're in both of those guys. We're going to be breaking. Exciting times. Oh, right, let's go. Go ahead, Nana. All right, guys. Get his Berg. We probably should be taking more video footage, but not the best. That's okay. Where, where, where are we going to eat at, Tanya? Dubin. Dubin. Or Dubin. I don't know, it kind of reminded me of, uh, what's that one? The, it's not Harry Potter, it's, uh, what's it called? Help me out. The uh, Lord of the Rings. The uh, Lord of the Rings. What's his name? I don't even know. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and that's a bad situation. What okay? are you talking about? I'm going to get hangry. We're going to have some problems here. What did you think of Antietam? It was really cool. I thought it was really historical. It's kind of sad too, right? It was sad, yeah. And tomorrow we're going to go check out Gettysburg, and then we go to Lancaster to the Amish. It's going to be awesome. And we're gonna find some. Hopefully, they have hotels out there. We probably should pre-check that one yeah. city. We're That's, gonna be roughing it. Yeah, I mean, worst case, you sleep in the car, right? We've done worse. Yeah. But now we're gonna have some food at the um, Lord of the Rings place. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It's storage. Okay, guys. We've been sitting here for 16 minutes, and she can't make a decision. <laughs> Choose some food. I Show them on the menu. <laughs> Look guys, they spell pie. P-Y-E. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's like this old theme, just like an old English restaurant. Yeah. But it looks cool. In the menu, it's describing it, and then it's talking about the first wife, but instead of F-I-R-S-T, it's F-I-R-F-T. Casey, I can't spell. None of our and viewers can spell. Like, is that a spelling typo? But maybe it's old English. How about some porridge today? Healthy drinking, no interest in that. We ordered these for appetizers. Why are you showing that? Why not? Should I just go with the steak? Have steak, why not? Have whatever you like. Have whatever makes you happy. Or how about some flesh and fish? Flesh and fish? No way. That's what it says. That's A favorite called. among Reverend Dobbins house guests. Visitors come miles to enjoy this six ounce lobster tail. I don't feel like lobster and a seven ounce filet mignon. 
I think I'm just gonna have to fill a minion. You have to show that bird hanging upside down. Okay. Is it real? Like no. Are you guys just fingers It's okay. Is it real? Do you think we can make sure a food not. decision? <laughs> For a kid that's starving, she's sure picky. Do you want the steak or the chicken? Oh, well, make good choices. <laughs> Flashes on, but okay. <laughs> Trying to, I'm supposed to say something funny here, but all I can really think about is I bet that there's not bird on the menu because it's right here. Okay. Look at the birds. So you walk in the it's door, so guys, crazy. and it's like, oh, why is it moving? It's like, <laughs> no. Straight away when we came in, it was just the first thing that caught my eye. Because it's hanging from the ceiling. That's, I don't know. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, look at the fireplace. That's a big fireplace. Vegans will not like that. In California, just wouldn't work. <laughs> smells good in here, though. It does. Hey, guys. We're at the Gettysburg Museum. Day two. We just saw the cyclorama, which is going to come up right after this. What did you think, Tatiana? It was really sad. It was sad? It's okay. Put your, put your feelings in words. It was really sad. No, um, it was just... It was really emotional to see because it was like a lot of war, you know, obviously. But yeah. nobody wins in war, so it's just the main idea that they were showing there and how like each side suffered. It was just a huge battle and everybody suffered. It was just yeah. sad. It touched you emotionally? Yeah. yeah. 620,000 Americans died. During the whole Civil War, yeah? Yeah. Union men. Yeah. Confederate. All right, let's go inside the museum. 77 feet in circumference, making it one of the world's largest oil paintings. It was completed in less than a year in 1884 by the artist Paul Polifito and his team of assistants. First displayed in Boston, it came to Gettysburg in 1913 for the 50th anniversary of the battle where it found a permanent home. After an extensive five-year restoration, the Psychorama opened in this building in 2008. If you have any questions, feel free to ask the staff to thank you for visiting the story of Gettysburg. What do you think, Mana? It's really sad. It is sad. It's a valuable lesson, you know, when all these people call for war. They don't really understand what war is. Nobody wants them more. On April 12, 1861, the Confederates fired on federal troops holding Fort Sumter, South Carolina. <coughs> when Lincoln called for volunteers to put down the rebellion, four more southern states declared their independence and joined the Confederate. Oh, check it out. We saw one in Antietam yesterday. Civil War Regimental Drum. Oh, this is Mexican War, but a Scott Legion. Oh, wow. Did you save that, the painting on the drum? Yeah, so it was in the Mexican War and the Civil War. It's crazy. Shut the I just think it's interesting because in today's world, we don't paint art. Military equipment. They still paint stuff if you watch footage in Iraq and stuff, they have stuff painted on it. Do they? Yeah. On World War II, they used to put little messages on the bombs for Germany. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know in today's part for Pikes. We're like, where are these artifacts in a storage unit? Well, we found rifles with all muskets. Yeah. Actually, not super old maskers, but I, I know people that have. Uh, election coins. We found those before for different stuff. I don't know if we found them that old, but close. They're not super, super expensive. I like old flags. Oh, look at that. What is that? 
Palmetto Front Secession Badge. We're over South Carolina. So we, I did not know that South Carolina was the first state to succeed the Union. Yeah. Yeah. So we look forward to seeing what happens next. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It looks small, the mannequin. Yeah, because people um, didn't have as good of a diet, so the people were smaller. Right now, we went to Sacramento, and the, the furniture was smaller. Yeah. Guys, this is the flag from the 47th North Carolina Infantry. And this was part of Pickett's charge. And captured by the 12th New Jersey, I believe. Or just again. Yeah, 12th New Jersey. And on the other side, you have the Pennsylvania flag, which was captured. This was presented to Jefferson Davis. Early morning, July 1st, 1863. A Confederate car committed by military What's that flag? The battle is quiet now. First corpse flag. Army of First corps. It's a corpse, it's called corpse. The way you reach it. Interesting. First call. Hey, come check this out over here. Union Commander General George Gordon Lee arrives on the field after midnight. By early morning, he has arranged the Union in the shape of a large fissure curving from Culp's Hill through Cemetery Hill. Then straight south it's crazy, huh? How would you like to charge about 50 of those? I'm out. You got it? I'm out. But what if it's a question of honor? Most of a hundred and a few hours. And affording quick troop movement inside the lines to reinforce where needed. Still, generally, it's a question of honor that you pray. Please, Lord, give me the strength to endure this. I'll wash the dishes. And you are less confident. But legally, I always wanted to build something like this. I always thought of my old age. If I have a good time, I'll build a diorama of some famous battle. Maybe Waterloo or Gettysburg or I don't know. Something cool. But I think with bigger soldiers, more detailed. I think this is pretty cool. What's up guys? The one thing I always really wanted to collect it and I started as a kid but then I found out it's extremely expensive is toy soldiers. It has a toy soldier store in Gettysburg. Makes sense. So let's go take a look. I wasn't kidding that toy soldiers are expensive. The good ones. The bright ones? I don't know if these are bright ones. Let me see. Bright ones? Yeah, no, no, yeah, those are all. It looks like a lot of these are bright ones. It's like one of the best companies in the world, whatever. Yeah. Like I started collecting the old sets, but then they get like crazy prices. See, this would be fun to like go live on a world, you know? Uh, I haven't thought that was going to be in that way. Yeah, I don't know. Look how detailed these get. Do they have any like beauty to see in the What's up, guys? Gettysburg went top of Culp's Hill. Artillery positions facing that way. The right flank of the Union. Looks like it's starting to rain. That noise is the sound of rain. Whoa, it's crazy. It's about to start pouring. It's like totally coming down. And we're yet to mention that our car windows are open. <laughs> All of them. Show the camera. This is crazy. Oh 
it was not like this like 30 seconds ago. Okay, the ground is covered in rain. I feel bad for the people that are hiking somewhere in the forest in there. This is crazy. We don't have this in California. Maybe we have a small drizzle. We have rain like that I'm sometimes. scared of getting electrocuted now. Let's get in the car. Electrocution or they keep the doctor away. <laughs> Okay guys, so it was pouring rain while we were at the monuments and we will go back to the battlefield. Um, <coughs> the rain has slowed down, but every so often it's like God opens the sky and it just starts pouring. See how the road <coughs> is totally flooding? So we're going to go to an antique store and right next to it was a comic book store. Daryl actually like, just called me and he told me it's 1.7 million inches per second that's raining right now here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure we're okay, so that's interesting. What do you think of this? I'm a valley girl, so this is all like weird. I'm like, there's water from the sky? Like, it's uh, crazy. It's not in the ocean? Yeah, see? I don't know if you guys can see. Right? I'm right. like, back in California, it doesn't rain in the summer. My hair's gonna get wet. <laughs> I know. This is just fun, and it's great to see all the architecture and the churches. The buildings are very different. If you live in this area, you're like, what's she talking about? But in California, it's not like this. No, ta -da. Did, did I ever tell you, you know what thunder is? No. God bowling. <laughs> Do you know what rain is? Oh, God peeing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to tell you as a kid. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's you're such dad, a little boy. That's what my dad used to tell me. It's God peeing. <laughs> right? Pee pee and poo poo jokes for little boys. Hey. They never outgrow it. And cut. <laughs> Guys, we're at the Virginia Memorial now in Gettysburg. Robert E. Lee, they say kind of in this area is where he probably was watching the battle. These are the memorial of Virginian soldiers. So they said at first this was a Union Memorial. All the monuments were to the Union. Well, Gettysburg, yeah, because they wanted, they, they yeah, made it. and then they said this was the first one for the Confederates, and then uh, there were other ones to follow. Here, close the door so it doesn't, I have the keys. Yeah, so 1917, they put this one up. And then, if you guys know, if you know your history, or you want to read your history, this is Pickett's Charge. They would have came out of all these woodworks right here. The troops would have been protected in here in the woods. And all these guys would come out here, start lining up, have to cross this field across that way. All the way in the back, you kind of can see statues like, um, see if I can find it on the phone. Right here, kind of. I don't know if you can find it, but it's kind of right here. The zoom is gonna mess it up. So, kind of, they, they have to go all the way where that single tree is the whole time on the artillery. All kinds of different artillery have to climb the fences you see over there in the middle. Oh, yeah. Kind of crazy, right? Oh, look at there's that one monument. We saw that at the museum. Yeah, we that's... have to go over there. Yeah, we'll go over there. Well, that's so right now we're in the Confederate line. Now we're gonna drive over to the Union line that was defending this. So, so when you guys stay at home, complain about having to do too much packaging or having to work 20 minutes overtime. Can you just imagine? And I don't mean in a bad way, but can you just imagine being a man, being in life, and this is your situation? 12,000 men gather around you, and they're like, "Okay, you see all that artillery? See all that gunfire?" You see all the barricades, you see the fans climb over. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna charge. We're gonna attack. So, you know what? Life could be a lot worse. You know, good position. Just you being able to watch this YouTube video. I think at that moment you're, you're gonna find God because you're gonna be like, please, Lord, let me make it to the other end. That's so crazy. Well, it's really interesting. I, I read a lot of biographies, and you know, when, when they just talk about what happened, and it's pretty rough, you know, and just. I definitely think you do find God or you try to like not understand or try to find understanding. Just crazy. But what a place in history. All right, guys, we don't have the best timing. We don't have the best timing because it's raining like crazy. This is the biggest monument in Gettysburg. Casey wanted to see this. So what do you think? You think the rain is going to stop? Uh, no, but it's beautiful. There's lightning going on. I want to get out. Tatiana wants to get I'll out. Get out. She's all, I'll go out there and film. I'll do it. 50 bucks. And I'll do it for free. Why would I pay? I'll do it for free. It's like... You don't want me to get sick. Yeah, so we'll just wait. Oh, well, you know what? I wonder if this guy's driving around. Can we drive around? And well, maybe... Uh, there's tons of flashlights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. O
flashes of lightning. It should be protected. Yeah, we should try to run in it. Let's, let's, let's try to run in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. We're, we're going to go for it. We're going to park around and see if we can park on the other side. We'll be back, folks. It's currently raining all around <coughs> us. We're soaking wet. And it's like raining, raining. There's that guy. It's raining. It's windy. It's violent. And we just ran from our car all the way here. I don't even know where we're at right now. Where are we at? In the class of not a This is crazy. So where did the Confederates come from? I don't know. But the statues over there. Oh, there's an inside. Look, there's an inside. You want to go in? We're going in. I don't know whose idea it was to come up here, but it's raining and I'm terrified of being electrocuted right now. It's just raining. There's wind everywhere. I walked up like, oh my God. All right, guys, I don't know what's going on. Uh, the girls ran back to the car. Rental car, so don't try to track the license plate. Just a rental. Just kidding. But, uh, yeah, Tatiana tells me all the time she's ready for the zombie apocalypse. And uh, she's pretty freaked out with a little bit of thunder and rain. So, I don't know. I don't see a zombie apocalypse going well for her. But I think so. Right here is all the federal lines. Can you see a monument? I don't see that camera. Right in between. Oh yeah, right there. That's the monument. So that's the Federals. I think that that is the monument for the last hill where the Confederates came in. It's either here or the high point over there. It's raining, so it can go everywhere. That's the house that we saw from the other side. So kind of like that direction out there. That's where we're early. They crossed that huge, large field. Absolutely crazy. So, but I don't know. I gotta see if my girls can survive this rain. Guess I have to run back out there. Guys, Casey's getting rained on. We're at the uh, Suchihana or Suchiquana. I'm sure I'm messing it up and people will go crazy in comments. But we just pro crossed the bridge to Lancaster. We're still wet from Gettysburg. Tatiana? Soaking wet. Soaking wet, but it's a good experience, my right? Socks. That's my sock right there. It's hanging. It's soaking wet. <laughs> I don't even want to put on my shoes. Hey guys, for all you older people, traveling with Tatiana is literally like traveling with John Candy. <laughs> The only thing she hasn't done yet is toenail clip, but I'm pretty sure that's coming. <laughs> tomorrow, save something for tomorrow, right? But check out this beautiful bridge in the river. Oh, like, yeah, it's beautiful. Can't remember the name of the river, but it's huge. It's like a huge, huge river off to Lancaster. That gotta be some German food, right? 